New here at 10, mental health awareness really can be a year round conversation and postpartum depression is a big issue for many new moms. 12 News anchor Leticia Kehi had a conversation with a group in our area and a mother who turned to writing so she could cope. It sneaks up like a thief in the night, in the night. And that's exactly what it does. Like all of a sudden you just start having all of these hormones. So overwhelming that some can't even bring themselves to talk about it. So I wrote this poem myself because I wanted to be able to explain to her that I do love you. Jessica Henserling found a way to communicate with her daughter. And I'm sorry that I, I mean, this is what mommy is going through. About what plagues so many women, postpartum depression. When I was looking into publishing, I just thought it would be awesome to be able to share this with another family. Now the hope is that her book, Mommy What's Wrong, will not only be an outlet and a way for her family to communicate, but also create awareness and help the one in 10 women affected. A lot of people see just depression at all, but in anxiety as being weak if you admit to it. And it, especially with postpartum depression, because when you finally admit to yourself and to others, you feel like a bad mom. Even if she's not experiencing what you would call major, you know, some major postpartum, there is a phase. A phase that can last anywhere from three to six months or longer. There's those baby blues that you hear that term, baby blues. And so the parent thinks, oh, this is normal. But nothing about postpartum is normal. You talk about like 0.1 or 0.2% of psychosis that comes in there. And that's when you hear the story of the woman who drowns all of her children in the, um, you know, in a bathtub. Another abnormal trait is the difficulty in diagnosis. Maybe there's a lot of women that get labeled a major depressive disorder that are actually postpartum depression. For the clients that I have seen, they didn't come to me for postpartum. We uncovered the postpartum when they were in my office for something else. Once diagnosed, treatment options can be arranged on a case-by-case -case basis. For me, I needed to get therapy. I needed to find medication to help with it. And I also needed to open up and talk about it. If you or anyone you know may be struggling with postpartum depression, you can contact the Samaritan Counseling Center of Southeast Texas. Jessica's book can be found on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Leticia Cahey, 12 News.